Andy Armas is baffled over why her upcoming biopic on the late Marilyn Monroe, Blonde, received an NC-17 rating from the Motion Picture Association of America. I did not understand why that happened. The Cuban 34-year-old said in her El Official cover story, I can tell you a number of shows or movies that are way more explicit with a lot more sexual content than Blonde. But to tell the story, it is important to show all these moments in Marilyn's life that made her end up the way that she did. It needed to be explained. Everyone in the car knew we had to go to uncomfortable places, I wasn't the only one. Movies rated NC-17 are not necessarily considered pornographic or obscene, but most cinemas won't screen them since many newspapers and TV stations refuse to run ads for them. Blonde marks Netflix's first NC-17 release and Anna's first headlining role. I did not grow up knowing Marilyn or her movies. I'm proud to have Andrew's trust and the chance to pull it off. I feel like whether you're a Cuban or an American actress, anyone should feel the pressure. When the streaming giant dropped the trailer on July 28, Twitter users blasted the Grey Man action star's accent as awful, with some saying she looks nothing like Marilyn Monroe. My job wasn't to imitate her, defended Anna, who spent nine months working with dialect coach Jessica Drake. And while Blonde is not fully authorized by the Marilyn Monroe estate, the rep Mark Rosen told Variety, Anna was a great casting choice as she captures Marilyn's glamour, humanity and vulnerability. Let us know what you think about this story in our comment section below. Like, share and don't forget to subscribe.